Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gene Curl and this is, I believe, the 27th episode of reading my mission journal for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And um, this is a series I'm doing where I'm just reading my mission journal for, uh, for my mission. And I'm going to start off where I left off on the last episode. Monday, December 15th, 2003. Mostly clear, hot, light wind. I got up at 4.30 this morning to write letters. I wrote uh, Tuesday, December 16th, 2003. Clear, hot, windy. In district meeting, we all had goals for our areas for the discussions we wanted to teach this week. After district meeting, we tried to visit a few old investigators and then visited the L family. Linda said that Steve is drunk every night. I really don't know what's up. He almost acts like he does not want us to meet with us anymore, but the bishop says he is solid. Elder L is a good missionary in the most part, but after, a f but on a few things we don't see eye to eye, such as Elder L thinks that he should correct the bishop because he is not quite doing the things by the church's standards and does not understand that he is not out here to magnify the bishop's calling but as his own. Also a few other things, but we still get along great. When we came home for lunch, Elder P had three letters, Elder G had two letters, Elder L had two letters, and four packages, and one of them very large. And what about me? Well, I got diddly squat. That's right, there was nothing for me. Oh well, at least I know that a lot of people still care about me. After lunch, we followed up on a few people and then went tracting for an hour. We did not teach anyone, but one lady gave us her phone number and told us to call and set up an appointment. We visited old investigators and part member families until dinner. We had dinner with the C family. After dinner, Brother C asked me to help him to caulk some stuff. When I was caulking the baseboard that Brother C had installed, I noticed that he did a horrible job and did my best to fix it and make it look nice. We got home right around 21.30 and Elder P had uh, brought my tires over so I installed them. There's a few other things I need to do to my bike, but it'll get done tomorrow. Mostly clear, but we had a few sprinkles. The wind blew harder, uh, I think, than it has the whole time I've been here in Kapolei. Perhaps with the exception of the time Elder J and I was at the park for three hours. We went, we went down town Kapolei looking for a lady who we received as a media referral. The address we had for, was for the shopping center where Brother J's surf shop is, but it did not give us a suit number on the business name, so it was looking for a needle in a haystack. It took us an hour to check all the stores and none of them had any idea who she was. We spent the rest of the morning until 1300 following up on people from old finding efforts. At 1300, we watched Joy to the World with the G family. We had lunch at the pad at 1400. I received a letter from, from Sister Satterfield, my state president's wife, with stamps and a check for $20, and a letter from my grandmother that had a check in it for $25. We tracked it for an hour and a half after lunch and did not teach anyone. We had dinner with the B family and stayed a little too long, talking with Brother B about the second coming, etc. After dinner, we tried to visit old investigators and tried to visit a new media referral. Thursday, December 18, 2003. Mostly clear, light sprinkles, windy. We tracked it this morning without any success, and then just before lunch, we tracked it into a young father who told us that if we came back in an hour that we could teach him and his family. We ate lunch at the pad. I received a letter, or actually a Christmas card, from from um, my aunt and uncle Jim and Ann Curl. A small package from from Roger, a man in my mother's ward who I don't know, and a Christmas card from from uh, the M family. A couple I met in Kauai who lives in Shubik, Idaho. After lunch, we went back to talk to the man and his family, but no one was home. So he went to check on a media referral and then helped out Brother C for a while. 
Sister K was supposed to drop us off dinner for us at our pad at 16.30, but when she had not showed up by 17.30, we left and followed up with some people. We stopped by the Peace family's house to bless it and to serve P fed us dinner. After dinner, Elder L blessed the house. Sometimes it is very hard to find effective things to do because everyone leaves for work or, or very early and they don't get home until around 1900 and they go to bed shortly after that. But that's okay. We will be successful if we keep trying. We spent the rest of the night trying to talk to the people on the old finding efforts sheet, but only caught one. Mostly clear, hot, and windy. Friday, December Friday, December 19, 2003. Mostly clear, hot, and windy. We tried to follow up on people that we tracked it into earlier and old investigators until lunch. When we got back to the pad for lunch, I called Boston's Pizza and ordered pizza for lunch. I received a letter from Mom that had a book of stamps in it. After lunch, we followed up on a few people and then tracked it. One man that we tracked it into said that he is a Catholic but attends a New Hope because they teach of healing. He has had all the discussions before, so I guess that either he thinks it is too much work to be Mormon or he just did not pay much attention when we taught him about the priesthood. We stopped to visit... Uh, Momi, an apostate member who attends New Hope, and her new non-member husband. He wants to meet with us, but wants Naomi to set up the appointment, but she refuses because she acts like she wants nothing to do with the church. Sister T and her son picked us up for the testaments at our pad at 1700 and went to Laie. We met the bishop and the rest of the family at the Polynesian Cultural Center parking lot. I met Sister... D and Elder W at the Testament. They both came with. Uh, they both came out with me from the MTC. After the Testaments, I met a couple of members from Twin Falls, Idaho. We rode home with the bishop. We told the bishop about the about Steve's drinking problem, and he was not happy about it at all. We were home there at 2200. Saturday, December 20th, 2003. Mostly clear, windy, and hot. Most of the morning, we tried to visit old investigators and inactive members. One man on the old finding effort, she happened to be an inactive member that was not on the ward list, who wants us to teach his family. We went to see the B family, but only Brother B was home. He is not a member and has no desire to be, but he is an awesome guy. He had lunch at the, we had lunch at the pad, and I received a letter from Sabrina. A lady that I taught in Kauai that now lives in California. After lunch, we tried to talk to the rest of the people on the finding efforts sheet, and then we went to see Brother E. And he went with us to teach the, teach the H family. We decided to read from the Book of Mormon. We had only read a little bit, and then Brother T got up and said, Oh, elders, it's time to go. They have stuff to do. I was a little ticked off at him. When we first showed up, Brother T stood outside talking on the cell phone. We decided to ride our bikes to church for the work Christmas party, but halfway through the hill, Elder L said that he needed to walk for a while because he was, and because we were pushing our bike, the bishop's son picked us up. We and then decided to go. We had fun going down the hill. We gave out pass along cards to Safeway and then went home. This has been a challenging day and week. Almost everything that could go wrong did. Our investigators even fell asleep at Testaments last night. Sunday, December 21st, 2003. Clear, hot, and windy. Brother T picked us up for church. The sacrament Christmas presentation was very nice. After, brother, after church, Brother T forgot about us and left without us. Emilio gave us a ride home. We had lunch and personal study at the pad. None of the people that we are working with came to church. This has been a very discouraging and less effective day and week. About the only good thing that's happened today is church and a very, very good dinner with the M family. We had ribs and pig in a blanket. During dinner, the M family's son decided to run away and Brother M had to, get, had to go get him after dinner. Our four o'clock appointment went surfing and ditched us, and our 
eight o'clock appointment with Steve fell through. Linda, his wife, told us that they are too busy to learn. We came home by 2030 to have a night plan. On the way back to the pad, I found a stuffed reindeer on the roadside. I will send it home and give it to my girlfriend when I get one. When I get home, or perhaps Catherine when I first get home. Monday, December 22nd, 2003. Claire, hot and windy. I got up at 04.30 to write letters and wash my laundry. I wrote a president's letter last night, and today I wrote everyone else. Around 1600, Emilio picked us up, and we went to the commissary with him and his mother. She spent quite a lot of money on us for food. I tried to pick up cheap stuff to keep the cost low for her, but Elder L did not hold back. Around 1700, the M family came and received a Christmas card from... Around 1700, the milk family came, and I received a, a Christmas card from Aaron and a Christmas card from the B family. The cards made me a little trunky. We tried to follow up on a few people and then had dinner with the L family. I shared the dinner message on the true meaning of candy canes. The rest of the night, we had a hard time finding stuff to do because everyone in couple A goes to bed early. Elder P cut my hair for me today. Tuesday, December 23rd, 2003. Mostly clear, hot in my wind. We went to district meeting. The two districts combined, and the zone leaders, like always, showed up late. Most of the time in district meeting, I was bored out of my mind. The Samoan elder, that I can't spell his name, was throwing a toilet paper, was throwing toilet paper at Elder P and Elder S. What I heard when I first came out on a mission was that all trainings are recycled, and it's true. I don't take notes anymore because all I have to do is look at all notes from other district leaders training and it's pretty much the same. After district meeting, we had lunch at the pad. I received a letter and a card and some stamps from Rod and a Christmas card from Liz. We tracked it from 1400 to 1500. Most people wanted nothing to do with us. One house, there was a lot of ants on a bench outside and I told Elder Law, Elder L to spray them with the aerosol can that was sitting outside, so he did, and it was black pruning cellar. Oops, luckily no one was home. The last door that we knocked on, we were invited in, and they taught, and taught a Filipino man named Delphin. We followed up on a few people and then stopped to talk with Sister H. She said that Brother H will call President Willis tonight. Elder L wanted to have Sister H Elder L wanted to have Sister H email someone for him, but he had to write it four times before he spelled it right. JT dropped off pizza hot dinner for us around 17.30, and we had an appointment to have a family home evening lesson with Jason and Tiffany, but they were dug out on us. We ended the night going down to Kmart to give out passing cards. A car drove by, and a guy yelled at me, Nice tie, Jehovah. As for if after a few minutes of Kmart, we went to give out cards to Safeway, and the Samoan member family from another state gave us $20 to split. Wednesday, December 24, 2003. Mostly clear, hot, light wind. We visited people, a few people, and then we talked to people at the park and tried to see some of the old investigators. We stopped to see Brother Ale, an inactive member, and, put, and I put his wife's new bike together for for them. We had lunch at the pad and I received a Christmas package from my ward. We visited a few more people and then borrowed Pirates of the Caribbean from the M family. We met brother and sister P. Uh, brother P is not a member. At Chili's for dinner. We met Elder P and Elder G at the pad and drove to Makaha to get the rest of the zone. We, we caroled and then to two investigators in each area. In couple A, we sang Christmas carols of the K family and the H family. Thursday, December 25th, 2003. Merry Christmas. Clear, hot, light wind. 
I got up at 0430 to call home and open gifts. Almost all of my gifts are something that will that I will use on my mission. I called the B family and at 0500 and talked for an hour. Heidi was very excited to hear from me. Brother B reminded me that I can stay with them after my mission. I would have liked to talk longer, but they had to go, and I had to call uh, mom and family. When I called home, Tom answered the phone, so I told him that I was that I was Sergeant So and So from Fort Bragg, North Carolina. The surprising thing is that he bought it and gave the phone to Joan. I wanted to talk to my sister Joan first because I knew that that if I did not that I would not be able to talk along with her. She told me about her basic training experience and the things that Mom and Tom have done to keep her out of the Army and the things that I am trying to do to keep her from going back. I was very happy to talk to Joan. After Joan, I talked to Mom and Tom and Jane. I made it very clear to Mom that I would not be living with them after my mission. She told me that she had read the letter that I sent her and agreed with me and said that she would not try to run my life anymore. I made sure to let everyone know that I loved them. The phone call lasted from 6 to almost 8. I used Elder L's card call. He told me that if I did not use it, that it would expire before he used it all. We went to the K family's house to eat breakfast just after 8. After breakfast, we watched Pirates of the Caribbean. After that, we came back to a pad and wrote letters. We had dinner at the W's family, and after dinner we watched Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. We started watching the movie at 1700 and ended around 2100. Uh, some of you might wonder and think that we were breaking the rules by watching these movies, but for Christmas, our mission president let us watch movies for Christmas, and he gave us an approved, a list of approved movies that we could watch, and Lord of the Rings and the Pirates of the Caribbean were on the list of approved movies that we could watch, so we watched those. During the movie at the W family, some of the family watched the movie with us, and the rest watched the University of Hawaii football game, which made it hard to hear the movie. I was hoping that the University of Hawaii would lose, so that everyone would quit cheering. Friday, December 26, 2003. Clear, hot with light wind. Most of the day was pretty less effective. We gave the EM family their video back and tried to set up an appointment with people. We had lunch at uh, 1300 and I decided to take down the Christmas decorations. We followed up on people and tried to see inactives until it was time to see Delphin. I, uh, we wound up not teaching him because he only wants to argue. He had a book that he said the Holy Ghost wrote and that the Holy Ghost goes to his church. He also thinks that Jesus was born on September 25th. Uh, and January is when he was conceived, among a bunch of other things. Every time we would try to resolve one of his concerns, he would change the subject and bring up a new concern. Finally, we told him that we knew the church is true and left. We had dinner with the H family, and they also invited Elder P and Elder G. A few days ago, Brother H called President Willis, and President told him that we could stay as long as we needed to, and it was okay if we happened to see the basketball game. The H family gave us each a Christmas stocking with gifts in it. Elder P and Elder G left a lot sooner than we did. And I talked story with Brother H for a while, and then when I told him about the girl who left the temple bag for me at my mother's house, he said, it might be the smartest, the smartest person in the world, but I think that she is pretty serious about you. He had me tell Sister H his story, and she thought that it was very serious and thinks that when I get home I will be a goner, hook, line, and sinker. I just hope that it is someone that I would want to spend eternity with. I also had a lot of fun talking with Sister H's 80-year-old father, and we left the H family at 2100 and went to the pad. Saturday, December 27, 2003. Partly cloudy, hot, light wind. This morning, I woke up about 15 minutes later than I usually do, so I did not have time to shave until around breakfast time. I used some of the disposable razors that I was given that was given to me for Christmas, and when I finished, there was a streams of blood running down my face. So I walked out of the restroom and said, I decided that I don't like this razor. Elder P thought that I needed to see the doctor, but I told him that I would not to worry about it. 
All the elders in the zone met at the recreation center for the zone tract. I went with Elder S, and there was supposed to be members coming with us, but none could make it. I did not teach anyone, but some of the other elders did. After the tract, Elder L and I had lunch at the pad. I had a letter from, from Catherine and a letter from Mom in the mailbox. We tried to deliver a media referral and follow up on people, but mostly we just tried to stay busy. We stopped to see Sister K and her husband and asked us to teach him, so we did. He had a lot of questions, but we were able to resolve them. We managed to stay busy until around 1800 and then had dinner with the, with the bishop and his family. I shared the dinner message and got a picture with the family. We went to the pad to use the restroom, and Elder B and Elder P came by and asked why we were home. Elder P really tried to be a jerk. We spent the rest of the night riding around trying to find stuff to do. Sunday, December 28, 2003. It rained really hard last night, but it was clear most of the day today. Hot with a light wind. Brother T picked us up for church, and he said a very few dumb things today that made everyone laugh at him. We did not have anyone come to church. I taught gospel principles class. After church, Brother T took us home, and we had lunch and personal study. We tried to see people. We stopped at the J family to see if Sister J had fixed my pants yet, and she asked us to stay until she fixed them, so we gave Brittany, the youngest daughter, a hard time until I got my pants. They also fed us lunch. We correlated with Brother T just before dinner. Actually, we went to correlate and wound up talking about his job. This was the first time that I actually enjoyed talking with him. Brother F picked us up for dinner. I shared dinner a message and then gave a, and then he gave us a ride home and we had a week plan. Monday, December 29, 2003. Mostly cloudy, light wind hot. I got up at 0430 to do laundry and write letters. I received a Christmas card from Elder B. He was in my MTC district, and Uncle Bill and Aunt Linda. Elder L and I borrowed the game The Settlers of, of Zarahemla from the bishop a few days ago, and we played it almost all day. I won all but at one game. We went to the post office to mail stuff home. I mailed two boxes to the B families to keep for me until I get home. It cost me $44.67. I got delivery confirmation on the box that has my letters in it. Brother M thought that we had dinner with them, but I told him that we did not. Since the S families were only dropping off, we ate dinner with the M family. I shared the dinner message and we visited a few other ward members and then stopped to see Steve and set up an appointment with the R family. Tuesday, December 30, 2003. It was pretty clear this morning. It rained from 1700 and the rest, through the rest of the night. Light wind. After district meeting, we went to see a guy that was tracked into it on the zone track, but he told us to come back next week. We stopped by the H family to find out when a good time to take pictures with the family. We had lunch with, at the pad and then tracked it for an hour without any success. At 1800, we stopped by the B's family to take pictures with them. Brother B will be leaving for Afghanistan in a few days, so this was about the only chance that I had to do it. They fed us dinner because Sister F canceled. The rest of the night, we pretty much just rode around in the rain trying to think of stuff to do. We came home at 20.30 because we were cold and wet. I drank the first hot chocolate, I drank the first hot chocolate tonight that I have in about one and a half years. At the B family, Sam, and there's Sam, their son hates pictures and hid under the couch to try to keep out of it. After he hid, his dad dragged him out and he reluctantly joined the picture. Wednesday, December 31st, 2003. Mostly clear, or mostly cloudy. It rained from 1700 through the rest of the night. Light wind. We stopped at the M family to see if there was anything we could do for them. And we wound up staying for breakfast. We dropped by uh, Duchesne's home to see if 
if she needed anything, and her mother told us that the baby needed a blessing. We could not come in, so we went and asked Brother H to come with us. It was a bad time because he was watching the U of U game, but went with us anyway. And was glad, and I was glad that he did. I anointed an elder L blast. The baby was only two weeks old, and I had never even touched someone that young before, so I touched his head as lightly as I possibly could. We went to follow up on John. He was tracked into in our zone tract. He had read the book, the reading assignment that was given him, so we taught him the second discussion. He said that he would like to be baptized, but he wants to come to church before he commits. I could see him get baptized in January. We had lunch at the pad. I received two envelopes from my ward, and the letter in both of them together totaled 22. They wrote me for a family home evening project. After lunch, we taught Sister our soon-to-be husband the second discussion. Getting him to church might be a problem because they take her Jehovah's Witness moms to the Kingdom Hall in Honolulu every Sunday. The F family is a member of the LDS Church. Uh, Sister R is a member of the LDS Church. The rest of the day until dinner was hard to find things to do. Uh, the bishop's son picked us up for dinner and gave us a ride home after dinner. For dinner we ate uh, lao lao, squid, pokey, poi, etc. I would have had a hard time eating this stuff this time last year. The zone leader picked us up at 2000 and we met all the other elders at the Makiki, uh, Maliki pad for a New Year's get-together and sleepover. We had a lot of fun and then ended the night with a testament, testimony meeting. Late at night, all the leaders got up and sprayed everyone with silly string. and blew a New Year's horn. Well, that's it for this episode. Uh, I will continue on with this next episode. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment down below, and I will get to them as soon as I can.